Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss one important application of Rolle's theorem, right? And here I uh, will try to apply uh, the concept of Rolle's theorem uh, to this problem, right? And this problem belongs to the uh, concept of theory of equations, right? So here uh, we have uh, this problem in which we have to show that there is no real number k for which the equation uh, x cube minus 3x plus k is equal to 0 has two distinct roots uh, in the interval uh, that is the closed interval uh, 0 comma 1 right so now i uh, will solve this problem with the help of rolle's theorem right so here uh, we are given uh, a cubic equation and we have to show that there is ro no real number k uh, for which uh, this equation has two distinct roots in uh, the interval uh, 0 comma 1 right so here uh, we have the real number line and suppose here we have 0 and here we have 1 right so now uh, what we will do uh, we'll uh, make use of the method of contradiction right so here we'll use the method of contradiction so uh, let us assume that this equation uh, that is x cube minus 3x plus k is equal to 0 has uh, two roots alpha and uh, beta alpha and beta uh, lying in this interval that is 0 comma 1 right so here uh, we are assuming that uh, let this equation has two roots alpha and beta uh, which lies in the interval uh, 0 comma uh, 1. So let us uh, further uh, assume that alpha is less than beta right. So now uh, we can see that here we have an interval uh, from alpha to beta right so we can construct uh, an interval uh, alpha to beta uh, which is a subset of this uh, interval that is uh, 0 comma 1 right okay so now uh, here comes the role of uh, Rolle's theorem right so what we will do I uh, will uh, construct a suitable function right so we'll construct or we'll frame a function uh, frame a function f of x right and we can take uh, f of x from this equation so f of x can be taken as x cube minus 3x plus k right and now uh, we'll apply uh, rose theorem to this function uh, in the interval uh, alpha comma beta right so before applying rose theorem to this function uh, let us quickly see the conditions of uh, rose theorem now suppose we have a function say y is equal to f of x which is defined in some interval a comma b right and if this function is continuous in the interval closed interval a comma b and if this function f of x is differentiable or derivable in the open interval a comma b and the third condition is f of a is equal to f of b right that is the value of the function at these two endpoints are also equal so if a function which is defined in this interval a comma b and if it satisfies these three conditions then Rolle's theorem says that uh, there must exist some point to C uh, between uh, these two points A and B such that the derivative of this function at this point C should be equal to 0. Right? So this is uh, Rolle's theorem. So let us apply uh, the uh, conditions of Rolle's theorem to this function in this interval so here a is alpha and b is beta right now see uh, f of x is a polynomial function 
right f of x is a polynomial uh, function and we know that uh, each polynomial function is a continuous function uh, in the uh, set of real numbers right so this function is also uh, continuous in the interval uh, that is alpha beta right so being a polynomial function this function f of x is continuous right now let us find out the derivative of f of x so we can see that f prime of x is uh, 3x square minus 3 times 1 and here we have the derivative of k as 0 because k belongs to the set of real numbers and k is a constant so f prime of x is equal to 3x square minus 3 right and we can again see that this function uh, f of x has a derivative at each point in the interval alpha comma beta right and moreover alpha comma beta is a subset of 0 comma 1 right so f of x carries a finite derivative in the interval alpha comma beta now the third condition right now see f of a should be equal to f of b now see here f of alpha let us find the value of f of alpha so f of alpha can be obtained by uh, putting uh, x is equal to alpha in this function so we have alpha cube minus 3 alpha plus k right and uh, we can easily see from this equation that uh, this equation has two roots we have already assumed that this equation has two roots alpha and beta so alpha should satisfy this equation beta should satisfy this equation so we must have alpha cube minus 3 alpha plus k is equal to 0 similarly beta cube minus 3 beta plus k is equal to 0 right so this quantity should be equal to 0 by virtue of this equation similarly f of beta is a beta cube minus 3 beta plus k right and again uh, by this equation beta cube minus 3 beta plus k is equal to 0 uh, this expression is again 0 so f of alpha is 0 f of beta is 0 so we can uh, readily see that f of alpha is equal to f of beta and both the uh, quantities are equal to uh, zero right so now uh, rolls theorem says that uh, once this function uh, satisfies these three conditions uh, there must exist some point say x is equal to c which belongs to the interval alpha comma beta right so c should lie between alpha and beta such that f prime of c should be equal to zero right that is the derivative at this point x is equal to c uh, must vanish right so f prime of x is equal to 3x square minus 3 so uh, taking x is equal to c in this equation we have 3 square minus 3c square minus 3 is equal to 0 so 3c square is equal to 3 so c square is 3 over 3 that is 1 so c c is equal to the square root of 1 and c can be taken as plus minus 1 right so viewers now uh, we can easily see that uh, these two values of c that is 1 and minus 1 uh, both these values uh, do not uh, belong to uh, this interval that is alpha comma beta right why because c uh, c is equal to minus 1 is outside uh, this interval that is 0 comma 1 right and since alpha uh, comma beta is a subset of this interval so obviously uh, c is equal to minus 1 it does not uh, belongs to this interval that is uh, uh, 0 comma 1 right and similar is the case with uh, 1 so c is equal to 1 it does not belong to this open interval 
0 comma 1 right because here this 1 is not included so we can uh, claim that these two values does not belong to this open interval that is uh, alpha comma beta and alpha comma beta interval it lies within uh, 0 comma 1 right so there is uh, no question of uh, having a valid value of c uh, belonging to the interval alpha comma beta so now uh, from this discussion uh, we have uh, arrived at the conclusion that there is no value of c uh, which belongs to this interval alpha comma beta right and this disobeys uh, the rose theorem right so rose theorem is not satisfied by uh, this function f of x when we have assumed that alpha and beta are the two distinct roots of this equation lying uh, in the interval 0 comma 1 right so our uh, assumption that uh, this equation has two distinct roots in 0 comma 1 interval for some real number k uh, was wrong right so now we can safely claim that there is no real number k for which this equation has two distinct roots in this interval 0 comma 1 right so viewers this is how by applying uh, the concept of rose theorem uh, the important problems from theory of equations uh, can be resolved right